Hey folks, it's uh, Grimwit from Nachiva.com, and I just noticed this painting. Lily had always liked the large painting in the main hall. It showed a dining table after a big meal, with a man in the center who had found the last cookie. Lily giggled at the thought that he would eat it all by himself, no matter how much the others begged. Hmm. <sighs> Let's do it. <sighs> Who do we have here then? Creepy Lily. How did it go with Mother Superior? Leave her alone, Shawnee. Only if she admits that all this trouble is her fault. We're, 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 we're not getting any d dessert? That's right, Memphis. And we can't play outside anymore either. Is it asking too much to want to know why? Stop picking on her. You don't really think that Lily, of all people, has done something wrong, do you? She's just not cool enough for that. Exactly. She's such a good girl. She rakes, she cleans, she cooks. It's disgusting and dangerous because somehow it always ends in a disaster. Isn't that right, Lily? Ever since you came to the convent, it's been one strange accident after another. I... Uh hardly dare get out of bed anymore. But none of this is your fault, is it? After all, you only do what you're told. I'm sure you're even running an errand for Mother Superior right now. Actually, Let's see what you've got there. Shawnee. Aha, uh -huh, I knew it. A recipe from Mother Superior. Well, I think I'll hold on to it for now. Hey. Let's see how Mother Superior likes having to wait for her food. And this time, our sweet Lily can face the music all by herself. <laughs> Let's go, guys. We're off. You're impossible. Was that to me or to him? Shoot. Well, let's see if we can find Garrett at least. What's this? Where had Garrett gone? The chapel didn't have a second exit. Hmm. Maybe he's in the confession booth? The carving showed a begging monk with conspicuously empty hands. But something was missing. Dignity, for example, but something else too. Well, they are conspicuously empty. Maybe the musket goes there. I don't know. The good old confession booth. Lily had been coming here often since the self-flagellation had stopped working. Give me a second. I need to contemplate Lily self-flagellating. Let's go into the confession booth. Lily spent a lot of time in the confession booth. Only she knew what she mumbled during those long hours. At least ever since the father who took her confessions had died of a heart attack. Um... Okay. Frank was completely occupied with the stone slabs. I guess that would be these stone slabs. Please stay off the slabs, okay? You're interfering with my research. That's a pretty nice cross there. The cross looked very unstable. Lily thought it would make much more sense to simply place it upside down. I... Uh, I'm not going there. Wait, wait, wait. No, nothing. I thought I detected a resonance echo in the floor. And where there's a resonance echo in a floor, the hollow space can't be far. A crypt or a hidden pool salon for Templars with outrageously hip hairstyles. What? Your question is completely justified. What would Templars be doing in a pool salon? It's just one of the countless mysteries surrounding the Templars. Where did they come from? Where did they go? Did they get a group discount ticket for their journey? And who was their hairstylist? There is just one answer to all these questions. The Great Church Conspiracy. And we can be certain that the evidence 
is buried beneath these stone slabs. If only I had the right tool to dig it up. Um, find it. <laughs> what the hell is that around your neck? Hey, where's Garrett? Uh, shh, for a second. Oh, great. If there's just been a landslide in the Templar's subterranean crypt, then now I've missed it. How the hell are you supposed to uncover church conspiracies if you keep getting interrupted? Just the constant stream of people going to confession is getting on my nerves. But compared to you, they're as quiet as church mice. I have no idea who they are. They creep into the confession booth and only come out when it gets too noisy for them. All that will be over with as soon as I have the right tool for my excavation anyway. Uh, I am assuming he's talking about Garrett. So tell me about this church conspiracy. Um... Sorry, Lily, but I'm just not interested in small talk. All I care about are church conspiracies. There's a lot to talk about there. But unfortunately, most of it's secret. And without the right tool, I won't be able to uncover the secret. So either you go and get me the tool I need, or you just leave. That would be fine with me too. Wait, what about the floor slab? Uh... Shh. You're destroying the holy illuminescence of the stone slabs. And if they lose their illuminescence, they certainly won't be in the mood to reveal their secret anymore. And there's no doubt that they have a secret. I know Templar symbols when I see them. Where there are Templars, a secret crypt with details on church conspiracies can't be far. If only I had the right tool to drill them out. Then, all I'd need to know is which slab to drill under to get my hands on the church conspiracy. If it's one that has a neck, because there are those with a neck and those without. Lily was impressed. Everything Frank said made sense. It did? Uh... We're done talking here. Seriously, what is that around your neck? Oh, well, whatever. Do you want a jar with a guinea pig? What's that for? If you want to be useful, then get me a tool that can get me through this stone slab. Bah. We all know it's the air hammer. Ah, very good. That's exactly what I need. Now, if I only knew where to drill... But such knowledge was probably lost long ago. No one is old enough to still remember the age of the Templars. Otherwise, I'm sure I'd have long since had that church conspiracy by the scruff of its neck. Oh well, I'll just start. As it stands, we do know somebody. Damn, how am I supposed to work with all this noise? Hey, Frank, Frank! Ah, what the hell? Question, why did Frank have ear or noise canceling headphones? Also, what the hell? A surveillance room. That was the hard evidence that Garrett was spying for Mother Superior. Hmm, let's take a look in here. Surveillance camera, some recording thing. I'm assuming there's a camera in there somewhere. Headphones, board... At first glance, the board didn't look very exciting. But Lily was used to making do with little. While other children unwrap their presents at Christmas, she could find happiness in a pine needle dropped from a Christmas tree. No, It doesn't look exciting, though. It looks downright... bored. Well, I'll just leave him to his stuff. I think the cafeteria is the only place we haven't been so far in the convent. I think. Mother Superior drank a calming tea. Maybe she should switch brands. Calming tea. What are you creeping around here for? Feed the cat. Don't tell me you're done already. Uh. No, that's what I thought. 
I am slowly losing the will to keep constantly having to remind you ch ch children of what good values are. Take a look at the embroideries on the wall. They depict all of the important virtues. Superiority, strength, and self-control. Um... I'm quite aware that self-control is missing. Do you think I'm blind? <sighs> now leave. I have to drink a calming tea. If you pass the classroom, remind Birgit to hurry up with her embroidering. If the self-control motif isn't finished today, I will really blow my top. As if she couldn't before. Stop dawdling. Feed the cat. And don't forget to remind Birgit to finish the embroidery. If the self-control motif is... Self-control is important! Ah, <sighs> ah. <sighs> Now leave. I have to drink a calming tea. Okay, there's her tea. How do we get the night? Well, I guess Lily wouldn't actually do that. Banana, coconut, apples. Lily liked apples. They were healthy, and sometimes you found worms in them. At least they listened when you spoke to them. Oh, let's go ahead and grab one. The coconuts were quiet today, but it didn't matter. By now, Lily knew enough about shrunken heads. How? Grab one of those. Edna always knew a few good jokes about bananas. But since Lily was such a good girl, she didn't understand any of them. I'm sure there's... we're not supposed to know. Speaking of being a good girl, while I'm walking over to the uh, cafeteria lady, we'll just drop some F-bombs. Fuck, 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 fuck. Lily liked Doris, and her feelings were reciprocated. What are you gawking at me for, you stupid little brat? She was tough on the outside, but soft on the inside. Keep gawking like that and I'll wring your neck! At least she liked children. Oh, how I love you children! I wish you'd all die of smallpox! Aside from Edna, Doris was Lily's best friend. Huh. All right. Um... What was that? <sighs> you impertinent little slug! I can't stand it when people gossip about me behind my back! The youth of today is becoming ever more insolent! No wonder! With all the violence and foul language in the media. If I could, I'd twist your heads off one by one. Ugh. Where are my cannon jars? I need something to calm my fingers. Otherwise, something terrible might happen here. Oh, all right. So, uh, I'm hungry. You? Before you ask for more food again, it's been hours since I held a cannon jar in my hand. My hands always get a bit nervous at times like this. They break everything they touch. Children's legs, children's arms. I just can't control them. How many children's legs and arms have you been breaking? Um... Uh, now I understand. You came to complain about the food, right? Well, then I have bad news for you. Children only get food from canning jars. And that's that. My hands are trained to twist the lids off. I haven't been wringing the necks of caged chickens for 20 years for nothing. Plus, I've got a court order that says I gotta open 10 jars a day. You can thank my idiotic lawyer for that. Wow, 10 jars. <sighs> Anything else? Do I have to explain it to you with puppets? Meal time ended long ago. The only thing that I'm still cooking today is food for Mother Superior's cat. And the food for Mother Superior herself! Or I should say I would. But my knife disappeared. And on top of that, the stove in the cellar has gone out. So I couldn't cook anything anyway. However, the most important thing is that Mother Superior still wanted to send a recipe to me. You don't happen to have it on you, do you? Uh, uh well, n no, I, there's no recipe. No recipe? Uh-uh. Yeah, then there's no reason for you to be here. Ah, so, uh, it, it, the stove's not on... Um, uh, forget the recipe! As long as the stove in the cellar is out, I won't be cooking anything anyway! And you say you need a knife? Uh, don't bother! 
I won't be able to cook without my knife anyway! Ugh, when I get my hands on the child that stole my knife, they'll be amazed with all the things a knife can do! Huh. So let's talk about Doris. Let's have some Doris time. You and me, Doris. Hmm. What's the matter? Why are you staring at me like that? What are you even doing here between meal times? I know what I'm doing here. A jail sentence commuted to 10 years community <laughs> service on probation thanks to diminished responsibility. Blah, 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 blah. Do you really want to hear this? Uh-uh. Yeah. Mother Superior didn't want to hear it either. And as long as she doesn't ask about it directly... <sighs> Let's let's help poor Doris out. I have a jar here with a guinea pig. Could you help me out, Doris? I need something to calm my fingers. What the shit was that? You saw that too, uh, right? Thanks. That was close. Now take your stuff and get out. Now. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you guys. There's a couple of times when the dialogue does that. So just for your sake, we're going to go into slow-mo. And we're back. <laughs> I have no idea what causes that. It's not fraps. It, it is something with the deal. Because I've played this first chapter, and it, it did that without fraps. I like how everybody's ignoring the gnome. You know what? I want to talk to you, Shawnee, but uh, first, I got a, a little thing I need to check. There's something going on with the oven. Maybe if I just check the cellar window first. Hmm? Everything looks alright in here. Alright, well... There is one other thing I need to grab real quick. Um, I think those uh, two kids, the Miramushi twin things, Riot Girl lovers, wanted a detonator. Oh, how wonderfully the fully operational detonator on the aircraft bomb blinked. Adorable. Let's grab it. That's going to become useful later on. I'm sure of it. All right. Open this some bitch up. See what we can throw in here. Maybe the detonator. Whoa. Memphis was trembling all over. No wonder. The stove had gone out. Well, we should probably fix that somehow. Huh? What? Quick! Close the door before anyone sees me! This is the last safe place in the entire convent, and I wanted to stay that way. Right? What's so dangerous? Uh. Don't even try talking me out of it. I'm staying here. It's much too dangerous out there. Lily had no idea what Memphis was talking about, but he'd always been jumpy. But, psst, someone might hear you, and then they'll take away my hiding place. And if they take away my hiding place, then I'll definitely be next. The stove is the safest place in the entire convent. You know, it has a Krupp steel casing. Titanium reinforced interior walls and his lead coated inside. I'd even survive a bomb attack in here. Huh. Huh. No, I'm not gonna be. That's not a hint. Alright, what about this recipe? Um. Now get lost before someone discovers me. If you're looking for your recipe, talk to Shorty. He pocketed it. Oh. Huh. La 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 la. The end of the world is near. Oh. We are clearly in the same wavelength. All right, let's leave you alone. All right, Shawnee. Shawnee was mean. First, he had stolen Lily's recipe, and now he was setting cobwebs at the well on fire. Still, Lily didn't think he deserved having spiders lay eggs in his eye sockets at night. Good children didn't have such thoughts. Surely Lily didn't have such thoughts. Um... Ooh! Look who's coming to get her recipe back. If it isn't our little goody-two-shoes Lily. 
You better split before I tie your shoelaces together. Oh, no. Or worse. <laughs> what? You're mean. <laughs> what? Now you're upset? Did the nasty boy bother you again? Uh-huh. <laughs> you're such a crybaby. When did this actually happen? Get tough, Lily. Get tough. <laughs> well, well, well. What's this? Is this you standing up for yourself? <laughs> Just look at you, Lily. With your bow and your braids. You don't actually think you could stand up to a bad boy like me, do you? I was playing with matches before you said your first morning prayer. My God. How can God. I ever take someone like you seriously? Do you know how to spit cherry pits or hunt sparrows with a slingshot? Just face it. You'll never be as tough as me. And that means you won't get your recipe either. Hmm. We gotta do something tough for him. Also, there's a ban on fire. Oh, tell me, how come you even dare to come here anyway? You know we're not allowed to play in the garden anymore. Or did Mother Superior send you? You can tell your beloved Mother Superior that I don't give a damn about her stupid rules. Ha! But I bet you're too scared. You're scared of your Echo, right? And you should be. Because one day, when you least expect it, who knows? You might turn around and see that someone has stolen your milk. No! <laughs> Goddamn e echoes stealing my milk. Uh, oh, you really want the recipe back, don't you? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I didn't know that. Just oh. give me a sec so I can wrap it up for you with a bow. Hey. Nice. Lily was touched. It was so rare for her to get presents. You so don't have a clue, do you? Get lost, Lily, or I'll be forced to call you names. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm a real badass. Just face it, you're not tough enough to make any demands around here. Ah, uh, screw you. I'm gonna show a bomb off to the girls. Hey girls, I'm cool. I'm cool. Check this out. Look how cool I am. What have you got now? I hope it's a weapon for the battle against... <coughs> but that's a real detonator! And it's live! You have to defuse it, Suka! Hurry! But with what? With the power of love! What? Are you... Wait! I know! Phew, that was close. We'll snitch to Mother Superior. Exactly. This time you really went too far, Lily. What on earth are you thinking? You're even crazier than I thought. Totally un-gumbo. Don't just stand there. Get that bomb away from us. Take it somewhere where it can't do any damage. A bomb-proof place, a fireproof drum, or something like that? Hmm, a bomb-proof place. Are you, are you sure? Lily had always thought shy with much pr- but that's what yeah i forgot about that stay away from us you're out of your mind running around here with real explosives much too hardcore that won't work at all take it somewhere where it can't do any damage a bomb a fire down with the down with the dark forces i can only think of one bomb proof place well it can survive bombs on the outside anyway Hey, what's up there, Memphis? Hey, can, can you hold for this for a second? Just it was the perfect place to get rid of the detonator. What's that? What, what do you have there? Lily could finally use the hairpin. Does it have to blink like that? Lily closed the door again to keep Memphis's hiding place safe. I hope that keeps him warm. Um, Lily? Lily? Something seemed to be wrong with Lily's ears today. She kept hearing all these sounds. I remember hearing a sound like that after rain. Maybe it's gonna rain. Hmm. Memphis is gone. 
There's a stove. The stove was black and empty, just like the mirror that always appeared in Lily's dreams. Well, I'm done with this place. They break everything they touch. Children's legs, children's arms. I just can't control them. <laughs>